Hey guys, this is Coma24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone tutorial video. This is going to be a tutorial on my 7x7 double vault door. So as you can see, it all opens and closes. It is also relatively compact, with a volume of 1,890 blocks. It is 18 blocks tall, 15 blocks wide, and 7 blocks deep. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so you want to start off by building up 8 blocks from the ground like so. Um, this will be the middle block of your door. Now break down these blocks here, just like this. Put a block to the front and to the back. These will be the blocks your quadruple piston extender will be pushing up. Now, get out your obsidian. Three there, and three there. Now you're going to want to put your blocks of choice in a pattern like this. I can't really explain it, so... Pause where you need to and slow it down to get the design. Now, once you've done that, put obsidian in these four holes like so. Then, get your slime. Two there, three there, and three there. So the slime can be replaced with honey. To get out your block of choice, put it in the center like that. Put four st sticky pistons on top of it like that. Break the bottom one. Observe there. Sticky piston and sticky piston. Reflect this onto the back. Like so. Then get out your normal pistons. Put three there. And two there and there. Then do another three here. This will give you your completed slime and, um, you know, slime pusher layout. Get your blocks of choice. Two down. Break that block. Put a little plus formation here. Break the middle block. Then put two blocks of choice out here like so. Do this on the other side as well. And then you're going to want to get out your torches, your dust, and your levers. Lever there, three dust, two torches there and there. Do this to the other side as well. Now you're going to want to get out your block of choice, put one there and there. Obsidian there, dust there, and now put a sticky piston, well, two sticky pistons there and there. Do the same thing on this side. And once you've done that, you can continue wiring. Put a block of choice there, obsidian there. Don't need that block of choice there, and I break it later. But uh, yeah, that's that. Then you're wanna, gonna wanna get out observer, put one there and there. Peter's on four ticks in front of them. Then put a repeater on three ticks on the other side, well, dust, dust there, you can break that block. And then a repeater on three ticks right there. This makes it so that when you flick the lever, you have a double piston extender right there. Now, to get on with the rest of the quad, or to start the quad even, um, you want to go down here with normal blocks, one there and there. <coughs> then put two there, and then do a torch tower here, like so. You want to put your torches like this. And then, once you've done that, you'll be ready to start wiring it up. So put Peter there, and dust there. Now to start wiring up the retraction, put four blocks there. Two observers like this. You may recognize this from my uh, triple piston extender tutorial. With an extra bit of observers on the top, like that. So once you have this, Peter there and there, Peter there and there, three repeaters there on the ticks that I set them to. Um, <laughs> I did it really fast, sorry about that. And now put two blocks of choice three actually, like so, then start prepa preparing this area. <coughs> Put normal blocks like that, dust there, and then get out your repeaters. One on four ticks there, another one on four ticks there, and then another one on four ticks there. Now, 
slab, get out your dust, put the dust there and there, and then just do this pattern like I've done. And now, put an observer there, um, glowstone, well, redstone lamp on top of it. And I need to get out my redstone blocks again because I accidentally got rid of them. Now I'll place that there and there. Um, although this is a redstone blockless build, I like to have it in my inventory. Now uh, once you've done that, you click this lever. You should see it all extends. Fill in these blocks like that. Flick it again, and you can see everything retracts properly. Now, um, to get in the rest, you're going to want to put three blocks down here, just like so. Another two blocks up like that, and then three blocks up like this. Get out your repeaters, put three repeaters on four ticks there, another repeater on four ticks there. Dust, another three dust, and then build out four blocks fr from there, and go over to this side, there. Put repeaters on four ticks all along, like so. And then put observers facing up on top of them. There you are. So now you're, you're ready to start doing the second quad. Um, put your sticky pistons here like I did on the other side, well the front. Like that. Obsidian. Blocks of choice like that. Three tick repeater. More blocks of choice. Four tick repeater. Observer. Observer. Yet even more blocks of choice. Put that down like so. Four tick repeater. Dust. Now to link this up, what you have to do is you have to do a little bit of weirdness. So on this side, this is the easier side, you can put three blocks of choice, wrong positioning by the way, move that over a bit. Three blocks of choice there, two blocks of choice out from each side like this. Then put two more blocks of choice there and there on each side. Dust, dust, repeater on one tick, repeater on one tick. Now do the same thing there. Repeater on one tick, two dust, two dust, and then your repeater on one tick. Then to link these up, um, first off, you're going to want to give your um, lever a little flick, and it should end up like that. And then to connect these two, I do have to look over, and you'll see me sort of looking to the side like so. Yeah, put a block of choice there, three, three blocks of choice on top like that. Then Peter in the middle. Then put dust and dust. This sets it up like this. And then, as you can see, you have your bottom finished. Now to start wiring up the sides, um, what you're going to want to do is turn these two repeaters to two ticks. Then put blocks in front of all four of these repeaters facing outwards also. Um, build up something a little bit like this, and um, it does take me a little while, and I do have to check as well to count out the blocks. It's this is a complicated build. It's the like it's obviously obviously the biggest in the series, so it takes me a little while, and I hope I can improve my speed in future episodes. But as you can see, if you just build this little formation here, repeater on three ticks there, and then two repeaters on four ticks dust there, coming up from these, an observer with a block on top. Now, you're going to want to get your normal pistons, normal piston there, and there, build up observers there, and there, put blocks in a little V formation like this, four tick repeaters running into there, and there, and then do the same on the other side with this bit down here for the quad. Push that up. blocks here again in a little V formation. Four tick repeater there. Four tick repeater there. Then get out torches, put one there, block, 
torch there, block. The torch is on both of these blocks. Now go back over to this side and mirror that. And now, you want to put your torches like that. Then you're going to want to put blocks on top of your torches like so. Um, do the same on this side as well. Then, once you've done that, um, build your walls up. They should be 7x7 seven seven walls made of blocks of choice. So uh, just build them up like so. Build it up four high for now, and then once you've done that, get out your obsidian, and then break out a shape like this. Two down here, then three up in the middle. Then do the same on the other side. Now once you've built up the sides there, you're going to get out your obsidian. We'll put down blocks of choice in that pattern, then get out your obsidian. Fill in the holes, like so. <coughs> Excuse me. Then place in blocks like that. Build up like that. Fill in the holes and gaps with blocks of choice like this. And then put obsidian there and there. Now your walls are ready to be built. So you're going to want to go over to this side or the other side. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure to copy it correctly. Put six blocks of slime like that. Do the same on the other side. Then four more. Two to the front and back. Do the same on the other side, like so. Then you want to get out your sticky pistons, um, and then put three there. And do the same to the back side. Then get out your normal pistons, like that. And that. Get out your sticky pistons, like this. And then two sticky pistons there, two normal pistons there, like that, and then block there, and there. Dust on those three, do the same to the back, block there, and there, dust on all three, again. Three sticky pistons like this, two more there, two normal pistons there, then sticky piston there, and go to the front, and put another sticky piston there. Once you've got that, you will be ready to start wiring up your sides. So, going to want to put sticky piston there with an observer facing up, sticky piston there with an observer facing up. Get out your blocks of choice, one there and there. Then put two repeaters there and there. And now, go down here. Going to want to put four blocks down here, um, like this. Going to fix that repeater. Then if I replace that all there, break that block, then place dust along there like that. Block there, another block there. Go up to here, place another block. Get out your uh, normal pistons, place one there, and then place another block there. Get out your torches now, and you're gonna need to put down four. One, two, three, and then four. Then put a block, well, two blocks of glass there, dust on both of them, and then a block there. Top of that block, put a torch, another block, and then a torch. To the sides of that block, put, a t t put two torches, one on each side. Then get out your blocks. Oh, well, observer there, block, dust. Do the same to the back. You're gonna wanna go over to your torches here with normal blocks. Put ones there, there. Actually, put dust on top of those first, then put blocks like this in a little W formation like that. Then you're going to want to put two blocks of obsidian there and there, normal blocks there and there, dust. Um, you're not going to want to put this. Um, I was messing up. <laughs> Peter there. Dust. Peter. Then Peter's on four ticks there and there. You're going to want to break that block because that was a mistake. Then you're going to want to put down block of obsidian there and there. Now once you have that and you flick this lever, 
you should see that your sides are completely finished. Well, your side is completely finished. Now, seeing as you've got that done, next is just copying it over to the other side. So here's again another demonstration. So yeah, on to this side. So you're going to want to start off again with these pistons down here with the observers, then three sticky pistons up. Same thing on the other side. Then put down two blocks there, repeaters on both of them. Then go down here, do your little zigzag yet again. Set up your blocks, torch, block, torch, block. Normal piston facing down right here torch, block, and then another torch. Again, two glass, block in, the, in between, then the dust, little torch tower up here like so. Then finish off the W. Three normal pistons, then Another three normal pistons. Put two blocks there and there. Dust on those three. Then your sticky pistons. And then you're going to want to go over and copy this to the front. Once you've got that done, two sticky pistons here, and two normal pistons. Again, two sticky pistons, two normal, and then put your two sticky pistons to the f one to the front, one to the back. Dust, dust, obsidian there and there. Repeater on four ticks there. Another repeater on four ticks there. Two normal blocks. Two obsidian. Repeaters, dust, and then. You're all done with those doubles up top, and as far as I am concerned, that's your entire side finished. After you've wired up that bit there, flick the lever, you can see that your sides are both fully functioning. After, of course, you put observer, block, dust, do the same for the back, and now you are prepared to go on to the top. Here's another demonstration. Alright then, so now, gonna start off building the top like this. Just fill in the whole ceiling for now. Once you finish this, get out your obsidian. Three there, then another four. One, two, three, four, then get your slime, put a piston there, or just any block there, break out this area, do the same to the back, and then go down here, three sticky pistons like this, and this, slime blocks there, and there, normal pistons there, and there. Then, once you've got this finished, you want to get out your blocks of choice and fill in those holes there. Then take your sticky pistons and put them along here in a row like this, five like that, and then go to the other side and do the same thing. Five. There you are. So now, that should be your layout. Go up here, put dust on these five there and there. Then put an observer facing like that, two f going out from it in a sense, and then block there. Obsidian down there. Then get out your normal, well, get out your repeaters. And you're actually going to need to bump those two tick, two um, those two tick repeaters a block back. Get your obsidian, place it there and there. Then put four tick repeaters running into them from the sides. Get out your normal blocks. 
there and there. Then put another normal block to each side, one to the back. Oop. Then put that dust there. Put blocks along like that. Dust here, like so. D um, blocks to the side. Dust all along them. Then build up blocks there and there. Repeaters like that, and then two tick repeaters, well, two four tick repeaters to both sides of it. Then once you got that done, put repeaters facing out like that, and then on this side, you're going to want to put repeaters on four ticks, like there. Put two dust there. Dust. Block of choice up like that. Dust, repeater, block. And then once you've done that, put two blocks there, and obsidian and a repeater. And that is your whole door done. Click this lever, and you should see the whole thing close. Back side should be closed too. And if you flick the lever again, it all opens. So uh, yeah. That is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry if it was a bit hard to follow, so uh, please pause where you need to and slow it down so you can get the whole thing done. But anyways, that's all for now. I'm ViscosComb24, and I'll see you next time.